hello welcome viewers to my channel today i'm going to show you how we can install the tiny proxy on a 9x system so tiny proxy is a very small proxy utility that allow you to access internet so basically what the proxy do is do the natting it's translate the internal ip to the public one and a tiny proxy is a very simple to configure and it is a free software so let's begin so first i'm going to log in into my the linux instance okay so i'm i'm taking sss session of my linux machine i accept the fingerprint now the first thing we need to update our repositories so the command is sudo apt-get update you need to put your administration password and it's take a while to update your repositories once this is done the next command we need to use sudo apt-get install tiny proxy minus y to accept the all the permissions So it is now fetching all the dependencies files and going to install it. It just take a few seconds. So done. So this is installed. Now we need to change in tiny proxy configuration file. So I'm using the command sudo nano. The path is etc tiny proxy tiny proxy dot conf. You can take a backup of this file also. So this is a very simple and self-explanatory configuration file. So the first thing we need to change the port or you can leave this as a default 8888 but for my case I'm going to change this port to 3128 okay now the second thing we need to specify our listen interface so as it is say if you have a multiple interfaces this allow you to bind to only one if this is comment out tiny proxy will bind to all interface presence for my case i'm going to give here the internal ip address of my tiny proxy this is the interface which is basically faced to my internal network the next thing you need to allow the max client country client connections you can leave the default I'm changing it to 150 and that's it I'm going to save the file oh one last thing that we need to allow our internal network so <clears throat> here whatever the subnet from your LAN side you want to allow to use this proxy servers you need to define that subnet here so the first one is my 10.1.0 slash 16 network and I'm using another network which is uh, 10.5.0.0 slash 16 so if you have the other multiple subnet you can you have to define all this here so now I'm going to save this file So no more option you need to change it I'm going to save this files but I deliberately make a one mistake in this configuration I will show you if you face that error so we'll see that what type of error we will find and then we are going to resolve that so first I'm going to start uh, because many users face that issue with the tiny proxy so I deliberately leave that uh, configuration mistake here so let me start so I'm I started the tiny proxy service now let's check the status of the tiny proxy service so it is running everything is okay now let's check that we are able to access the internet or not so I'm going to just fire up the Firefox and first thing we need to change the proxy setting so I'm going to setting and just type the proxy in search field 
go to the setting and then I specify manual proxy configuration and put the internal IP address of my tiny proxy okay now let's check that my net is work or not so let's going to check what's my IP address it should be my public IP address which is defined on the external interface of the proxy oh the proxy service is refusing the connection so that's the problem which I want to show you now why you get this problem so let's go and resolve the issue so I have seen the most of the time the users made these mistakes when they configure the configuration file so that's why I deliberately leave that setting so you have to define the bind option this is the there you define the IP address where the outgoing connection should be listened and the IP address here should be the WAN IP or public IP address of a tiny proxy server so basically any proxy server has a two network interface one is WAN side one is the LAN side you know so all your internal system should refer to the LAN side IP address and your WAN side IP which converted turn or or, 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 or Mm, yes, converted into the WAN IP addresses, right? So all the external users, they will see that the request is coming from the tiny proxy WAN IP address. They never comes to know the actual IP of your internal host or system. So after that, I'm just restart the tiny proxy service, and let's see that the status of our tiny proxy server. okay oh sorry by mistake it's a type of mistake it's a tiny proxy right see the service is running perfectly now let's check that internet is working or not here you see now my net is work let's go to IP chicken where you can find your IP and you can see I for the security reasons I blurred it out but this is the my public IP address of tiny proxy servers well now let's check the other side I open appexpress.com so it is also working so this is how you can configure the tiny proxy just take a five minute to configure the whole thing you know it's a very simple very powerful software so I hope you like this video tutorial. Thank you and please share, like and subscribe my channel. Have a nice day.